Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here with my dear friend Christy from Oklahoma. Today we're going to talk about frugality in the 1970s. We're going to start with three main things that we're just going to talk about today. Food, clothing, and entertainment. And we will start with food. Christy, how was it more frugal in the 1970s regarding food? Well, Mom didn't work until I went to third grade. She was frugal with her cooking, with wasting the things that we wanted, um, the treats we wanted, like ice cream sandwiches, that kind of thing. If we didn't like them and we didn't want to eat them, she wasn't going to buy any more until we had finished um, what was already in the freezer. You know, um, the soups that had all the vegetables in it, they were so good with cornbread. I mean, it doesn't cost anything to make cornbread to go with mm -hmm. rice and beans, that kind of stuff. We didn't eat out much, hardly ever. I don't think anybody really did. Every once in a blue moon. We didn't you know, either, unless for a very special occasion. Right, but right. But you used everything. <clears throat> we used everything, yeah. And Mom didn't buy a lot of sugar. She didn't, she was totally against sugar. And so that was torture on us as kids. As kids, so if a friend of mine had a mom that baked a chocolate cream pie, I just why God can't my mother cook something normal? Yeah, <laughs> if you're seeing this, Christie's mom, okay. But well, how our my mom saved is number one, she did not work outside the home, so she cooked and baked everything from scratch. Number two, she wasn't the most frugal grocery shopper, but she bought what we liked. Number three, we ate portion control. A lot smaller portions than nowadays, and we did eat leftovers. We did not throw them away. And so if we had leftovers, you could have them for lunch the next day. So those are all the types of things we rarely went out to eat. And the other way we save money, and I'm gonna ask you about this, Christy, mm -hmm. is we drank water and milk. You're thir oh, we're thirsty. Other families might have soda pop, or pop as we call it in Minnesota. Uh, we only had that twice a year, maybe for a special occasion. We did not have pop in the house. We did not drink juice because our dentist said juice is bad for your teeth. It promotes cavities and obesity. That's what our dentist told my mom. So we did not drink high C or Kool-Aid. My mother never made Kool-Aid. We had water or milk, and that was it. And if you were thirsty, you got a glass of water. So we saved by not drinking that. My dad got free beer because one of his brothers worked for Ham's Brewery. So we always had <laughs> alcohol in the house. But anyway, um, so, but we ate, you know what? We ate what we had. Right. Smaller portions, like I said, didn't go out to eat. So those are how we said, and we generally, for the most part, did not waste food. Not always. What do you, you want to say? You know, what I wanted to say, this is really funny. Um, we did have some high C in the house was saccharin. I did not know they had that. No, Her mom, mom was, was into saccharin. Saccharin, the whole, you know, no sugar, but saccharin and everything. She tried to bake a cake with it. It was terrible. Um, the high, or the um, Kool-Aid, you'd have to put a whole cup of just regular sugar in it. She would put the proper amount of saccharin in there. It, it just was like, it just so we good. did have some Kool-Aid sometimes. We went to go visit my, um, grandmother on the weekend sometimes in the summer and we'd have some Dr. Pepper. Who wants some Dr. Pepper? Um, we'd all have Dr. Pepper and go out and get some maybe some hot dogs and grill. Mm -hmm. But anyway. That's ahead. interesting. Yeah. Well that's all I have to say about food. Now we're going to start with clothing. How did your mom save and dad save money on clothing? Well my mom sewed my clothes when I was really little up into maybe third grade. Um, I was a matchy match bow outfit, the whole thing. Um, yeah, I don't remember ever shopping for, for clothes until she went back to work. That's good. So you guys save money with that. Yeah. Well, for us, my mother did not sew. What we basically did is we ordered them from Sears. We got some from JCPenney's, which might not sound frugal, but we only had a couple outfits. You see people's clothes closets. They have tons of clothes. We didn't have very many. We have maybe have three or four short outfits, you know, maybe three dresses. We didn't have tons and tons of clothes. We, My mom uh, ironed once a week. We took really good care of the clothes we had. They were excellent quality, especially with shoes. We, we shopped at Sears and JCPenney's. We shopped at a place, I don't know if they had it in other states, Kenny Shoes. Yeah. You guys knew I grew up in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. We got size for our shoes. We took good care of them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if they were scuffed up, we polished them. 
and we just took care of what we had. We also did hand-me-downs, and my parents also bought me used clothing from other family members that were grew out of some things, but it was good quality, so sometimes we bought things used and got it for a really good price. So these are some of the ways we didn't, the main thing with the food and the clothing is we just didn't have as much as we did and we made do with what we had to sum it up. So that is how we did. We ate what we had and we wore what we had to sum it up. So mm -hmm. do you have anything else to add to the, the clothing? Um, I don't think so. I didn't think so. Okay, entertainment. How did you guys save on entertainment? Well, That's a big area people spend a lot on nowadays. Way too much. We had drive-in movies. And um, I remember going to my very first um, Old Yeller. And, you know, we brought food. We sat there and watched the movie. It was cheap. Um, yeah, we didn't buy uh, food at the concession stand. No, not at all. No, mm -hmm. that's one thing you just never did. So, and then on Friday nights, Daddy would come home uh, with the pizza. And we'd all have pizza. And, um, okay. yeah, he got home really late. And so my mom and I would lay in bed and watch Johnny Carson. I would fall asleep, and then Daddy would come home. He'd wake me up, and we'd go out in the front and have pizza. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. We rarely ever had pizza because we didn't go out to eat much. Entertainment, we had people over. Now, back in Minnesota, and I don't know if they had this here in Texas, you can tell me. We had a bar set up at our house, and my parents would, you know, ask people if they wanted a drink if they came over. And then we would have snacks you know, um, all different kinds of 1970 jello molds and <laughs> chips and dips and fun things. And then we would play 500 Rummy or 500. We'd play board games. So we would do a lot of that. Another thing is we did a lot of outdoor activities. That's true. So we went snowmobiling. We had snowmobiles. And also, like in the summer, we played, and I hope I said this right, croquet. I think that's what it was, mm -hmm. in the backyard. And we played all sorts of things. I both, and then maybe this is entertainment, rode my bike everywhere. Everywhere. We would go where, yes. And everywhere. so now people don't seem to do that as much. But we would have people at the house a lot. Everybody would bring food. That would be one thing. The drive-in movies. The drive-in um, movies. You know. And the other thing I wanted to say is we didn't really go shopping unless we needed something. So we weren't always at the store shopping like a lot of folks yeah, do Yeah, let's go to Target and see what we can... Fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we didn't do all that. So these are some of the entertainment and the way that we saved is doing some of that. Any other way you saved? Yeah, you mm -hmm. know, I remember being a little kid. I had an older brother. Um, you know, the kids would get together and just run the neighborhood, you know. Sometimes the older kids would have the little brothers and sisters with them when we play games and hide, hide and seek in like two major groups of kids all up and down the streets and the you know no one snatched us n no one ever got injured nobody would have wanted me because i talked too much <laughs> they would have brought you back <laughs> what a, hey i used to play ding dong ditch though and and i ring people's doorbell and run i don't know why i thought it was fun everybody did that yeah it was fun and you know what i have to tell you i used to do it to my own parents they never found out it was me um but you know but we really my parents entertained a lot we had people and family over and it was just a, a really fun time. I think the 70s was a great time to grow up. I agree. Oh, the other thing, entertainment, is we like to watch TV, and we love to watch different fun shows. Like, my dad and I watched Saturday Night Live together, and we mm. enjoyed that. And we also used to watch, love to watch the variety shows. <gasps> Carol Donnie Burnett. And Marie, Carol yes. Burnett. All that stuff. We would sit around, and we'd have people over and watch TV together. It was just really fun. I mean... There was just a lot of fun things. Nowadays is fun too, but it was really frugal. Anything you want to add before we wrap this up, Christy? Any frugality in the 70s? I think maybe somewhere in America, where maybe where we live in Oklahoma, kids can just run. At night, you know, it's 9, 9.30 at night, and um, my son and his friends, who's he's in ninth grade, they just walk. They're bored, but they're out walking. You know, up and down Main Street, going to this person's See, house. See, she lives in a that. small town. How many people are in your town? About 1,300. Which I've never lived in a small town like that. Yeah. But I can tell you one thing. If I did move to that town, probably within a week, everyone in that town would know me. <laughs> and on that point, I'm going to end this. Anyway, <laughs> anything you want to say before we sign off, Christy? Um, it's so much fun to be here with Dawn and do this. It's just, 
it's a lot of fun. Thanks for letting me join you guys. Thank you. I love you. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.